Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, my name is Ruby um, and I film fashion, lifestyle, makeup, loads of different videos. Um, and I also have an Instagram page which I'll pop on the screen here. So do follow me on that if you aren't already following me. And if you aren't new, then welcome back. So today I'm filming quite an exciting video. And as you will have guessed from the title, it is a designer bag unboxing. So I bought this bag at the weekend and I popped a little picture of the bag on on my um, Instagram, as in like the carrier bag that it comes in, on my Instagram and I had loads of messages from people asking me what it was and they wanted to see it and stuff like that so I thought what better way than to film a bag unboxing. Also I actually get a lot of questions about this bag um, in general so I thought it would be a good time to talk to you about it a little bit so it's kind of like an unboxing slash a review because I may already own it in another colour and that is probably really giving it away. But... Let's begin. So, it is from Gucci, um, and I bought this one in the Westfield Shepherd's Bush um, shopping centre. So, yes. So, if I pull it out, it did. Um, it did come with a ribbon on, but I actually, I'm not going to lie. I've been impatient. I have opened it. Um, so, yeah, we haven't got a ribbon on there anymore. So, as you can see, it's pretty small, um, but it's not like a purse or anything. It is a bag. Hard to do this one-handed. Hang on. Okay, so open the box and this is what is inside. So a little Gucci dust bag. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So uh, here it is. So I just flip that open and this is the bag. So this is the Super Mini Marmont. Um, so it's a really, really small bag. As you can see from like my hands, um, it's pretty small. Um, but I will go into all of that later and like how much it fits in and stuff like that. So yes, yeah, so and it does have a strap. So if I take the strap out so you can see, it's got this like kind of antique gold strap, very similar to, um, well, the exact same gold as the double G uh, logo. So yeah, it's kind of like a chevron print in this. Now it is white, but I wouldn't say it's like bright white. It's definitely more of kind of like an off whitey cream color. So the box is white, so you can kind of see that it's not quite like bright white. Um, but yeah, and then if I turn it round, it has the little sort of heart um, emboss on the back, which a lot of the, actually I think all the Gucci Marmot bags have. Um, and then the strap is really nice. That's what I love about Gucci is they like their gold straps. I just think they're such a nice gold. They're not like a tacky gold at all really really nice kind of like heavy weight strap so if you follow me on instagram you might know that i do already own this bag and i actually have it in another color so i've got the black version which i have here to show you um so i bought the black one um i think i bought this one in june of last year so about seven eight months ago now um i bought that one in new york and I literally lived in this bag. So I did a road trip in America. The whole time it was absolutely perfect. Um, but I also have used it loads since I've come back. I took it away to Dubai with me. Um, I took it to Italy with me. Loads and loads of like travel opportunities. It was just perfect for. And so I would never normally do this. I would never normally buy two of the same bags. But because I was just using this one so much, I just knew that I was gonna get the use out of this one as well. Um, now, like I said, I have used this one like crazy. And if I show you, it is honestly in like perfect condition still. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super duper cautious with my bags. Like I, I don't throw them around or anything like that, but you know, I like stuff them into suitcases and stuff like that. And it really is such good condition. I think I've got one little scratch on the front. Um, and even the inside, so I put like lip glosses in here, all sorts, and it's not dirty at all. So it's got the same inside as the white one. It's got this really nice kind of like beige inside. Um, I think it's suede, yeah, suede. Um, now, let me talk more about the white one. So what I love about these bags, if I open this one up as well so you can see, so yeah, it's that suede as well. Now, what I love about these bags, and actually, when I bought this one, my best friend also bought a black one purely because of how like much I was banging on about how good these bags are. So, as you can see, it has this long strap here. So, what is great about that is you can use the long strap and you can wear it cross body. So, if I stand it up, so as you can see, 
I've got this one on crossbody like that and it sits at a really nice um, kind of height just by my like, hip bone um, which I really really like but also you can wear it just on the shoulder like that so you just wear it like one strap but what I like the most about it is it has this feature where you can make it into a double strap bag so if you look on the inside of the bag it has this little keychain and this is great if you want to like attach keys to it what it like is actually meant for but you can use this as a um, like a clip on to make it a double strap so what you do quite a few people were confused about how I did this so I thought I'd like properly explain it so what you do is you take the side of the strap that is also the same side that the key clip is on and then you cross it over underneath the flap so now you've got both sides over here and then obviously just close it up and then what you can do with the key um, clip is grab the looped end of this because obviously it's become like that now you've um, you know crossed it over and you literally just clip them together like simple as that so hopefully you can see that so now what you've got is a shorter bag with a double strap I love the double strap for like an evening look because I think it looks really really nice kind of just like under the shoulder like this I also think this looks really, really nice just being carried like this, um, obviously a bit lower down. If I just pan the camera down, I'll show you what I mean. So I also think it looks really nice being carried like this with a pair of heels or something. Um, that's how I kind of like to use it to pose for photos and stuff. But also you could tuck the straps inside the bag and use it as a clutch, which is what I do sometimes. So I think it's quite nice for an evening, like I said, just use it as a little clutch. So my absolute favourite way to wear this bag is as a belt bag and that is how I wear the black one a lot, it's very casual but also I think it looks really really good just like with a pair of jeans and some heels you can wear it, like it really is one of those bags that you can take in from day to night so easily. So if I show you how I make it into a belt bag, so again we're using the um, key clip and the doubled strap and then it's going to be a little bit different because I've got a jumper on so I'm just going to pop it around my waist, bring the strap round and I'll show you again, you literally just pop it through like that and then it sits as a belt bag. Obviously it depends, you know, like how big your waist is and how, what you've got underneath. Like I said, this is a jumper, so it's sitting quite high, but when I haven't got a jumper on, it kind of sits a little bit lower. Um, I can try and pop some pictures of me wearing the black one as a belt bag on actually, so you can kind of see. Um, I just absolutely love wearing it like this, I think it's so cool, it's so on trend right now to have a belt bag um, but even when it's not on trend, like it's the most handiest thing ever because you've got your hands free so like for example I went out on a night out in London last weekend and I used my black one and it was just great, I didn't have to worry about holding a bag, I could hold a drink you know so yeah that is like one of my favourite features about this bag so I kind of felt like with this bag, you literally do get four bags in one. So you get a crossbody, you get one on like a long shoulder strap, you get one on a short shoulder strap, you get a bum bag, and actually also you get a clutch. So that's five bags in one. So I just felt like that was such a versatile bag that I know I could use with so many different outfits. If crossbody bags stop being in fashion, then I can wear it as a long shoulder strap. Um, I just kind of felt like it was very timeless in that sense. So this bag cost me £670. Now obviously that is expensive, like don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's reasonable at all. Designer bags are expensive. But for a designer bag, I do think this is really reasonable. And I know it's small, but the um, Marmont, which is slightly bigger, so it's probably about that much bigger, I mean that's over £1,000. And um, so I just kind of felt like for what it is, and for how versatile it is and how much I knew I was going to get the wear out of it, I really do think that for £670 I will get the wear and I know I have with the black one and honestly whenever I wear the black one I'm like oh this is great, I love this but I wish I had it in white. I've been looking for the white one for so long and they're actually quite hard to get hold of so I don't know if I'll be able to link this one for you, obviously I'll link the other one. And um, It also comes in red and um, like a really nice nude colour so I will link them as well in the description box. So that is the reason why I decided to splash out and get another one. It's a really versatile bag although you can wear it in a trend way, for example bum bags are very in at the moment, you don't have to wear it like that, you can wear it in loads of other ways. Um, and I decided to get white because I thought it was a nice neutral colour and I think this is going to look really nice especially in the summer, you know with some blue denim shorts or something like that. Um, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to pop some protector onto it just so you don't get any dye transfer. Um, I will link the protector that I use in the description box below. 
Now onto its size, because I am aware it is a small bag, like don't get me wrong, I know it's small. However, this is quite deceiving, like it really does fit in a lot of stuff, which I'm gonna show you now. So, this is the inside of the bag, as I said. Um, now I'm gonna pop my phone in there, so I have an iPhone X. Um, so, pop that in there. Now, as you can see, that sits pretty comfortably in there. It's easy to get out. I show you it's not like tight you see um, really easy to get out there's still a lot of space like the bag is quite stretchy it's quite roomy um, so yeah I've got that one in there now I'm just gonna pop my card holder in there so I actually have quite a bulky card holder um, so if I pop that in there if you see it still is quite a bit of room down the sides and at the back and I can take that out really easily so for example, some sunnies. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. We've got a phone, card holder, and sunnies in there. Um, now I'm just gonna pop a lip balm in there. So for example, if you carry like a lipstick or something around with you, I'm just gonna pop that in there. And as you can see, it's just slotted in at the side. Now it does have a little key clip as well. So if you wanted to, obviously if you have like a big key ring or something, that's not gonna work. But if you just wanted to take off your house key and just clip it onto there, then that would be absolutely fine. But honestly, it really is a roomy bag. Like it, it kind of stretches out that way a lot, but it doesn't lose its shape, if you know what I mean. So I can still close this absolutely fine and it still keeps that really nice shape. So although it does look small, I would say it's pretty deceiving. I'm just gonna go and get my boyfriend's phone and see if that fits in there because he's got a bigger phone than me. So just bear with. Okay, so I've just got my boyfriend's phone. Um, so this is an iPhone X Max. So this I think is the same size as like the 8 Plus and stuff like that, but I may be wrong. So maybe just check the dimensions out first. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. So as you can see, that fits in pretty well as well. Like it's definitely kind of at the end of the bag, but there's space in front and space behind, but also it's not so tight that you can't get it out. So you literally, can get it out pretty easily. So yeah, it does fit a big phone. Um, it just means you haven't got as much space at the sides, but you can still get it out really easily um, and you can fit other stuff in there as well. Also thought I'd show you, um, I often carry around a battery pack with me. Um, so I thought I would show you that in there too. So I, I've got this one from Anchor. So as you can see, I've got the battery pack and the phone in there. Um, and then what I did on the weekend is I just took out my ID and the card that I needed and slotted it in there rather than taking out my whole card holder. So it kind of fits everything that I need to carry around with me. Um, so that is one thing that I would say, if you're a bit worried about the size, then I wouldn't worry too much. Obviously maybe go into store and see how you feel, but I find everything that I need to carry fits in really, really nicely. So yeah, that is the bag. And like I said, the black one as well is a great choice, especially maybe if it's like your first designer bag purchase and you wanna pick up a really, really staple item, then I would recommend the black one a lot. I also, like I said, really like the nude and the red, um, but I went for white because I know that it's gonna look really, really good in the summer. So that is it for my designer bag review and sort of unboxing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will leave the links for them in the description box below. So if you're looking to get your hands on them, then definitely check out that one. Um, I will say definitely go into store and just try it on, see how you feel. Um, and if you do want some inspo of how to wear it, then definitely check out my Instagram because I literally wear it in pretty much every outfit. It's so versatile, I love it. I really couldn't recommend it enough. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.